Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Today we're gonna learn about the part of the human and animal skeleton. So, living things move to find a wood and tree. What do they need in order to move? A skeleton. There are three types of skeleton. They are endoskeleton, exoskeleton, and also hydrostatic skeleton. So, what is endoskeleton? Endoskeleton, which means hard internal skeleton, found in all vertebrates such as mammals, reptiles, birds, fish, and amphibians. For example, the bone inside a fish. Exoskeleton is a hard and rigid outer covering found in arthropods and crustaceans. For example, the shell outside a hermit crabs. And the hydrostatic skeleton is a fluid filled body cavity found in soft bodies animals such as earthworms, which means cacing tanah, and slugs. For example, water pressures inside a jellyfish. So, have you ever seen a human skeleton before? Since it is inside our body, we can view a human skeleton through an X-ray examination. So the human skeletal system is the skeleton inside the human's body. It is an endoskeleton. It serves as a framework for the body, consisting of many individual bones and cartilage. We can stand, we can sit, walk, run, and move the parts of the body with the help of our bones. The human skeletal system can be divided into two. They are axial skeleton, which means rangka kepala dan rangka badan, and also the appendicular skeleton, which means rangka anggota gerak. So the human axial skeleton consists of the skull, which means tengkorak, the vertebrate column, which means tulang belakang, and the rib cage, which means tulang rusuk. And the human appendicular skeleton consists of the bones of the pectoral shoulder girdle, which means gelang bahu, the upper limbs, which means tulang tangan, the pelvic girdle, which means gelang panggul, and the lower limb, which means tulang kaki. The shoulder girdle holds the upper limbs to the body, while the pelvic girdle holds the lower limbs to the body. So, do you understand?